Hello everyone, my name is Tiffy. Today I thought it would be fun to try out some new makeup and what better way to ask all of you what your favorite go-to makeup items are and order them and try them out myself. So in my mommy makeup video, I asked you all for some suggestions on your go-to mascara because I wasn't really happy with mine and a lot of you commented, thank you so much for participating. The one I decided to try out today is this Falsies by Maybelline. I didn't get waterproof because I like to wash off my mascara. I don't know, there's just something about waterproof that kind of scares me a little bit. I don't wanna to have to like rub my lashes to remove the mascara. So we got the color Very Black. I ordered it off of Amazon, which was really convenient. And I'm really excited to try it. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes first. I've always had issues with having my lashes stay curled whenever I try out mascara. So some of you all swore by it. So I'm really excited to try it out. Let's get ourselves a nice curl first. I know that there's probably techniques on how to curl your lashes, but since I don't really do that, um, I don't know any. Maybe I'll find a TikTok that can help me out with that. Let's curl these bad boys or bad girls. Nice and curled. Here goes nothing. I think I'm gonna try two coats of this. And we're just gonna go with mascara on the top lash. I'm going for a natural look today. All right, there's one coat. I could already see the curl coming out, but we'll let that dry. Let's do the other one. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a mole like right on the edge of my lash line on the top lid on this side, and there's a lash that's growing out of it. And sometimes the hair growing out of it is like really long, but I think it actually broke. So it's not super noticeable right now. Let's put this on. I feel like this one curled a lot better for some reason. So there is with one coat. It is making my lashes look longer, that's for sure. You can noticeably tell the difference. Oh my gosh, sorry about the noise. Gardeners are here. Okay, let me do the other eye. Ah! Oh my gosh, I love it. This is way better than the current mascara that I have. Let's get a before and after. Now I kind of want to try the waterproof one because this is awesome. I love it. Thank you guys so much for suggesting this to me. All right, so next up, I saw a comment saying that any blush from Patrick Ta, and I have never heard of this makeup brand before and decided to, you know what, let's just try try it out. So I went to the website and I had to hold myself back. I wanted to buy more products, but we got to move slow. I just got the Patrick Ta blush because that's what was recommended. So this one comes with two. It comes with the cream and it comes with the powder and it has directions if you want the dewy look to blend the cream and then for a soft airbrush finish, you put the blush on top. I'm gonna try both of them just for the purpose of this video. This one is the color she's blushing. Oh, this is... This is nice. Excuse me, my fingerprints are gonna get all over this. Let's get that nice product shot before my fingerprints get all over it. Oh, hi, it's my camera. <laughs> I don't know how to open <laughs> Hello? I really can't figure, oh, there we go, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, it, you just, you just pull it. You just pull it, Tiff. Oh, awesome, it comes with a little mirror. I love it when they come with mirrors. Sometimes they don't and it's just like, how am I supposed to see what I'm doing? And there's a little protective, that's cool. So you can protect your blush. Okay, I don't have any foundation on. I just wanna see how it goes directly onto my skin. So let's, let's try this bad boy. All right, so we want the dewy look. We're just gonna pat it on. Oh. This is nice. It just like melts onto your skin. You don't really have to do that much blending. And I think it actually does layer. So if you want more pink, 
and just layer it on. I like to add a little blush on my nose just because, no. Oh, I think I added too much. <laughs> Whoa. Then I look like I have a cold. Oh, this is nice. This is more pigmented than I'm used to, but I like it. Let me put one more layer on. Oh, sun-kissed. I'm a fan of the cream and I know why they put this little protective thing over it because once you activate that with your skin temperature, it's creamy. All right, I approve of the cream. Let's just put the powder on top and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a lot of blush. <laughs> That's more blush than I am used to wearing. Whoa. Can I blend it? I think I put too much. I'm very blushy. I have to match the other side. I just have to. Maybe I'm just not used to seeing myself with this much blush. What do you guys think? Did I put too much on? Well, the good thing about this product is that it stays on. Next time I probably would add a little bit less brush, but I really like the product. Thank you so much for suggesting this. All right, so the last product I'm gonna try is for the lips. And I saw a comment saying, any lipstick from Black Moon Cosmetics. And I had never heard of this brand before. Went to the website, immediately fell in love. I got the package. I just wanna show you the box. This is what I'm greeted with. I mean, come on, look at the box, so cute. We love you to the moon and back, it's a little moon. I just appreciate good packaging. Not to mention the photography on their website is beautiful. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and otherworldly. The three things I love. We're gonna try off this Sinister Satin Lipstick. Look at the <laughs> box it comes in. I think I actually ordered the wrong color. This is a trick or treat one and I have a feeling it might be orange, but we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, let me open this little guy. I don't wanna get rid of this. Like, ooh, oh, gorgeous. Wow, this is a treat. Like getting a package like this is so fun freaking cute okay look at that this is probably my most favorite lipstick case of any lipstick that i currently own let's try the color oh i remember i didn't get the wrong color i just like oranges Ooh, probably should have uh hydrated my lips first <laughs> It applies nicely, it's very smooth. The consistency and texture of this is just awesome. The actual lipstick feels hydrating, which is a plus. O-M-G, I freaking love, love this lipstick. Oh, this color is it. I can already tell you I am in love with this lipstick. I mean, the packaging is one thing, but the actual product, I love it. It goes on smooth. I love the pigment. It covers nice and evenly. It's not dry and it smells nice. <laughs> okay, I'm a little shook because I let the lipstick dry and... Yep, stays on. Well, those are the makeup products that I tried and I loved all of them. I've ordered some more, so I do have on the way. So I'm planning on making another video. If you have any other suggestions, leave a comment down below on your must have favorite makeup product. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for suggesting. I love exploring makeup and learning from products that people actually like. So it's amazing that we have this community that we could just share good products with each other. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Tiffy and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.